Welcome back folks. So today I'm going to take a closer look at this uh, Kaiwitz meter here. This little one here is called the, the KM100. And um, we did, we did uh, take the back off and get into it uh, in, in the unboxing video. I'll leave a link to that up there. And you can have a look at what it looks like inside. But it does indeed come with fuses, unlike our, our DM830 here. Um, but I also have an update on this too, but I'll get to that in a minute. So what do I think of this so far? Well, I've used it a little bit. Uh, one of the things that bugged me about it, it, it had a little stand on the back that kept on flopping around. It, it, I just took it off. It was easy enough to pull that off there. Um, so that's one thing. Other than that, it's really sturdy little meter. Like it's really well put together. It's as solid as heck. Like uh, this, you, you get that other little meter that this, this one here, the DM830, and you could twist it into smithereens if you wanted to, but not this. So it's really well built mechanically. It's got the connectors are nice. They're split ring connectors, but they're they're pretty nice. They make good contact with all the banana plugs that I have around here. And the switch is is nice. Also the the, the display is nice too. I mean it's a, it's a nice clear display. The backlight is really good. It provides a nice even light. And uh, one thing about it, it, you know, if it bothers you, it does beep every time you turn, change it, 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 it beeps. But the nice thing about that is in continuity, it's got a nice, sharp, loud beep. It doesn't have a, a scratchy continuity. Um, give you a little demonstration of that. The probes that came with it are actually pretty nice, and so is this little case here. Like, it, it's, it's a, a kind of like a, a Cordura type nylon or polyester material, so it's a soft case, it's got some padding on it, but it holds the meter nicely and should uh, keep it from getting scratched up. And it's uh, nice and easy to get the meter in and out of it. The probes themselves are um, not exactly the most awe-inspiring. They're pretty sharp, but they're not gold-plated or anything. They're kind of small and dinky, but uh, the, the, the wire is really, really nice. It's nice and flexible. It feels awfully a lot like silicone, but I'm sure it's not. You wouldn't get silicone wires on a meter at this price point. Okay, let's go over to that continuity, and um, you'll notice it's really quick. It's loud, so it's latched, very short latch period. So that works really well in that mode. Now we're going to we're going to compare it to our uh, big Siglent five and a half digit meter, and I'm just going to run through some of the voltages there, whatever I can output with my power supply here. I'm not going to get up into the 200 or 600 volts. I might get up to 100. All right. So right now I've got the power supply is set up to put out 190 millivolts. We'll turn it on. And we'll get that uh, Siglent up on the screen there. Okay, so the Siglent is showing uh, 184.1, bouncing around a little bit. That's probably the power supply. I just turned it on, so it's probably warming up. And uh, this is showing 184.2. Now the Siglent's at 184.2, so it's, it's smack on there. Let's, uh, let's go up to the 2-volt scale. We're showing 184. Let's adjust the output of the power supply. So the meter, the signal is telling us we got 1.886, and this is 1.893. So that's that's pretty good. I'm not upset with that at all. Um, what does it tell us in here? Is specifications of this. For DC voltages, uh, it's. Um, Plus or minus 1% of reading, plus or minus 5 counts. So yeah, it's, that's well within range there. And let's go up to 20 volts. And we got uh, the signal reading 18.89. We got this reading 18.97. Again, that's within specifications. And uh, let's go up to the 200 volt range. I think I can arrange for about 100 volts. So let me do that. Okay, so the signal is showing 107.54, and this is 108. So yeah, we're we're within one percent, and five counts for sure. All right, 
and we'll just verify it says the same thing up here on the 600 volt range and it does within the one percent okay I'm just going to try I'm going to get a signal generator here we're going to try some lower voltages on the AC side and then I'll, I'll just plug it into the mains here to see what it gives us there all right let me set up for that we'll be right back all right here we got 5.0001 volts going into it and we got 5.01 showing on the display so that's okay I'm all right with that and let's uh, see if we can up this a bit so we got seven seven point zero five nine five and got seven point zero nine there and this is at 60 hertz so let's change the frequency here let's go up to 10 kilohertz no it's not going to go at 10 kilohertz let's bring it down to five kilohertz uh, we're way down there too let's bring it down to two kilohertz okay we're good at two kilohertz let's try three kilohertz yeah uh, we're we're beginning to roll off three kilohertz so it's good up to three kilohertz i mean that's that's fine for what this meter is going to be used for and for the cost of it okay let's see how it, it measures the mains on the 200 volt range here so it's reading 119.5 and the signal's reading 118.7 in that neck of the woods 118.8 so it's off by one volt, which is well within the one percent and five count. And I think I don't think AC is supposed to be that good. So what's the AC? Oh yeah, still one percent. So one percent plus five counts there on the AC. So we're just within that. Okay, that's good enough. Let's try some current readings with it. I'm going to set up for that, and we'll come right back. Now this doesn't have a microamp scale on it. Uh, it's Big Brother does, the other Kiwitz meter that we have already in the beginner's toolkit. Okay, so according to the segment, we have 19.66 going down a little bit. So let's say 19.6. According to this, we've got 19.58. So again, let's look at the specifications. DC current, 1.5% plus 5 counts, and uh, we're good. Okay, let's, uh, let's up that current a little bit. Let's get up to the 200 milliamp range. So the segment settings, we've got 190 milliamps and 190.4, and we have 190.2 here. That's, that's great. And let's go try the 10 amp scale. Okay, so we've got one amp going into it, and the segment's reading 0.99984, so that's perfectly okay. Let me up this by another amp. So signal saying 1.9999, this is saying 2.0. I think uh, we can't get much higher than 3.2. So let's try that. 3.2002 going into the segment, 3.21 on this. So that all looks pretty good. There's no smoke coming out of it either, which is all really good. Okay. So the voltage and current checks, it checks out there just fine. Now we're going to set up to do some ohms checking and uh, we'll check out the diodes as well. I know I've already done that, but let's do it again. Let's try this uh, meter first and then we'll try it on the signal. So this is giving us 1.1. Uh, now what's the accuracy on the ohms range? That seems to be out by about 5% there. But then again, there could be at this range, it could be resistance in the leads that we can't, uh, we can't get out. So what is the resistance in the leads? Yeah, it's about 0.6 volts, so 0.5 volts. So that's, that reading is pretty good. And the ohms reading is 1.2% plus uh, five digits. So yeah, that's, that's a good value. And the segment says 1.01. Again, it's probably lead resistance here because these are my extra long leads coming from the, yeah, 0.01 ohms there on the leads okay so let's go up to the 100 ohm resistor so it says 100.3 that's within uh, stated accuracy and the segment says it's 99.96 so that's good it's got the 2k range here 1.001 
Let's see the Siglins take on it. Nine 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 eight. Okay. So far so good. I mean this is performing very well. Nine point nine eight for the ten K. And the signal says I guess it doesn't matter if I have it around backwards, does it? Ten K. All right. Two hundred K range. 99.7, that's within uh, dated uh, accuracy, 99.9. So we could check the 100K again on there, 0 0.1, that's good. Um, we'll have to go up to 20 mega ohms to test the 10 mega ohm resistor. And we got a 10.01, which is almost exactly right on what that says, and the segment says, 9.9811. Anyway, it's still within uh, stated accuracy, so that's very good. Now let's just uh, check out some diodes here. The diodes are really rough because you know, every meter puts through a different amount of current through, so they're very rough readings. That's right on. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Okay, 1.7 on the red diode and lights it up. 1.7, oh, yeah, okay. It's reading 1.776 or one on the amber diode. It's lighting up very, very little. And it cannot read the green or the blue. Yeah, so it checks out very well. Um, I like this little meter going to do the job perfectly as a little second meter to the other kiwits that we have in the beginner's kit. So a thumbs up on this one. And if anybody's interested in buying one, I'll leave a link below. Okay, now I wanted to just update you on uh, this little stinker here. I finally got it working uh, on the milliamp range. Um, and I had made a bad assumption the last time. So my assumption the last time was that I could just ignore this point here and I could put a 10 ohm resistor down to here and a 1 ohm resistor here. It turns out that you can't. Uh, so I did get in a pile of uh, surface mount resistors in this here book. And so I pulled out one of the 9.1 ohm resistors. I didn't have a 9.0, but a 9.1. And I put it back to this configuration here, and lo and behold, it worked. This meter here is now 100% functional, and uh, that 0.1 ohm does throw off the 20 milliamp and the 200 milliamp, well, more, more the 20 milliamp range, a little bit beyond spec, but it's not far. So, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm getting a new truck in, in a week, and I'm just going to throw this into the glove compartment. It'll be there if I ever have to check anything. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that we finally figured out all the problems with it and got it sorted out. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you want to help the channel out, uh, you know, please leave a like and subscribe. And also down in, in the description there, I have a link to a, a PayPal account where you can, uh, you know, buy me a coffee or something like that. I'd really appreciate that. It would help out. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me today, and we'll see you. Bye-bye.